Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Ria, Jerry Ria. Okay, and you can follow my channel for any kind of uh, you know a strategy for paper one. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you a proper strategy like how I prepared my exam and I cleared my UGC net in my first attempt. Uh, see, I'm coming from uh, my English background, but I know that there are so many other students from another backgrounds like political science, geography, Bengali, and history, and other subjects in commerce also. So, um, in, in order to understand the paper 2, we have already learned many things, right? Like in our EG and our PG, uh, in our all the optional courses, okay? but paper one is something very new to us and for that we must need a good strategy okay because see um uh, for uh, the paper one you will get 50 questions okay and for each 50 questions you will get two marks and that will be 100 right and in order to pass the mark uh, pass the test you can get 30 uh, to 35 questions correct in paper one but if you uh, want to you know clear your net with a good score or if you want to clear your grf then you can get like 80 out of 100 you must be asking that uh, like 80 marks in 100 like it's out of like um, out of you know our thought or something like that but it's not true it's quite uh, it's a little bit hard but it's not impossible okay see I have segregated the all 10 units into three sections okay so number one was uh, easy units number easy sections number two was moderate section and number three was difficult section okay so uh, see uh, paper one consists of 10 units right and those 10 units are not that much hard okay for uh, five to six units are theory theory based okay that are all theoretical you have to just read the books you have to uh, watch some videos and you are done after some practicing questions okay you are done but uh, some moderate units like uh, you know that needs uh, your uh, practice or your time like di and reading comprehension and higher education okay both three are uh, like moderate units and the hard units are like math and people development because people and development is a vast unit okay it needs uh, your time so in order to clear this exam i made my own strategy and that is this three three sections right so for five like uh, first section like easy sections you will get teaching aptitude then research aptitude then logical reasoning then computer or like ict and then communication and finally we have like this five units we have right so for this five units you have to just buy two books okay like you can buy oxford publication books for paper one okay written by harpit kaur and the second book is pearson publication book that is written by kbs madam okay this two book will be enough i think just read the book okay first of all read the books and make make your own notes okay just put uh, the lines important lines in your copy don't just copy the book okay whole book and then uh, if you can't understand some topics then uh, you know understand those topics in detail in any youtube channels okay there are so many youtubers so there are so many faculties who will make you understand that thing and uh, like for uh, these units i uh, made my own notes okay after reading these two books and then everything got very clear in my head and after those uh, units which i could not understand i used to watch in my phones okay or in my laptops that's it now uh, see for this four for this five theoretical questions you will have to make one thing sure that you will get five questions correct out of these five questions okay that you have to make uh, sh short okay of yourself because see these are all theoretical questions if your base is clear if your base is uh, in a strong then you will be done for example teaching aptitude you will get units like uh, you will get topics like you know all the levels of teaching all objective of teaching nature of teachings characteristic of learner characteristic of teachers okay evaluation process these are all some uh, evergreen like topics that will be asked again and again okay in the nt exam 
Next, uh, for um, like research aptitude, types of research, steps of research, variables, and then reliability, everything will come like this, okay? And if you know the base, if you know the concept very well, then you can easily uh, get a good marks, get 5 out of 5. And then uh, communication, communication is type of communication, okay, how we communicate with each other, like uh, it will be, it will cover like mass communication, then uh, you know, all the models of communication, so you are done. And then a uh, fourth unit is like technology, uh, like ICT or technology, like some technological terms will come and then networks and memories, okay, some uh, generations of computer, this, this will come from this unit, okay. And now logical reasoning. Logical reasoning like um, uh, has some you know practical portions as well like um, Venn diagram and um, uh, square of op oppositions. Okay, which you must read. Okay, because these are all evergreen topics. This will be asked again and again in this exam. Now uh, moderate units which I have told you that are three units. Okay, like DI and higher education and reading comprehension. I used to take one hour for each day and I used to do one DI for each day, one reading comprehension and one like uh, current affair. Okay, I used to read uh, in short for current affairs. So you can also download the app in short where you can find current affairs freely available. And uh, when you will read the current affairs, then you will also uh, get your you know reading uh, skill improved okay so that will be another benefit okay uh, so uh, try to do at least try to solve at least one di for each day and one reading competition for each day and that will you will be done okay you will be master after uh, doing it for one month and then uh, you will get your exam clear now uh, for the difficult units like math and people and development i segregated these two units as difficult because uh, math is something that i did not really like okay in my uh, uh, you know other uh, discipline when i was um, in other streams when i was in my 11 or 12 and then uh, my 10 standard uh, but uh, as I am coming from an English background, so math was uh, not that much, you know, um, in my uh, liking list, but okay. So I used to do my maths also. I used to practice maths by watching YouTube videos and I, I used to watch especially Talvir sir's video, okay, because I loved uh, his videos and his way of teaching, everything I loved. So uh, I used to practice maths like maths are very you know um, like uh, very specific questions will come like from uh, topics like um, you know percentage ratio then average average and then we will have profit and loss distance and uh, speed and then work and time these are all uh, some you know common uh, mathematical arithmetics like and then uh, other reasonings like uh, blood relations and letter series number series and we have um, directions and also and the calendar calendar are not being asked that much in nowadays but okay so these are all uh, simple reasoning which you can uh, um, you know go for youtube and then you can learn them okay they are very easily available in youtube and um, for people and development this unit is quite quite vast but uh, you know uh, there are some again some important topics in trend which uh, like where you can find uh, some uh, important topics like pollutions and their pollutants and all the conferences protocols okay they will come again and again so yeah i had made my own strategy like this you can also make your own uh, paper one is not that much difficult uh, but uh, yeah you have to get at least 30 to 35 questions correct to get your uh, get you in a good positions okay for paper one otherwise though we have paper two in our hand we can get good marks in that uh, so for this uh, video um, i'm going to uh, like end my uh, video and uh, my two things will be there okay that can be used as a tips by you and that are like you know one is that please do practice okay because i have seen so many students read the read the theoretical portions but they missed like they missed to you know practice all those questions 
until we practice now we will not become able to answer those questions because at the end of the day at the end of the examination hall we have to do like you know mcq questions okay that will he will not going to ask you some theoretical questions so make sure that whatever you have read you know the basic and you can answer these questions so you can buy uh, book for this okay because uh, there are so many uh, books available in the market where you can find many practice practice questions okay and number second is mock test please do sit for mock test okay because mock test will give you the environment okay where you can sit for a uh, long 3 hours okay at least if you can't sit for 3 hours then sit for 1 hour at least okay so can so that you can understand the time okay uh, in a well manner otherwise though you you will read and read and read and study and study but you will not get any kind of use of your time or your study so make sure that you will complete uh, this all the like you know strategies which which i have told you and bye bye thank you and for more videos please do fo uh, do follow me and um, keep liking my videos bye bye thank you